I feel that I've done the best that I can, could do, each step of the way. And uh, architecture was not easy, but I did the best that I could, and uh, then didn't worry about it anymore. Mrs. Klarik, it's very evident that you have been a leader several times when you have worked for various firms. What is your definition of leadership? <laughs> I was in a position where I did the hiring, I did the tutoring, and the coaching, and the overseeing of uh, the work of others. What about the values? Do you, are there any particular values you think a leader should have? I feel that a leader should not have a, any strong pre uh, prejudices against people for whatever the usual reasons are. All right. What do you think is the major public misperception of you? <laughs> misperception? <laughs> yes. I don't know what the people, what they, um, the misperceptions are. I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> I, and when I'm, for example, I'm, I'm seated across from you now, and I see you as I feel your gentleness, yet your firmness. But maybe people have misconstrued you as someone who could easily be pushed over, and it's very clear that you were not easily pushed over throughout your life. Do you think that might be a misperception of you? Yes, I, I, I guess you're right on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes.